Press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss another update. Event triggers and property triggers are the first pieces to allow you to cause your elements to accept input and or respond to input from the mouse, keyboard, stylus, or any other interface from the computer. An event can be equated to the beginning of a race, the starter shooting his pistol off. The property is a state, the racers are running. In technical terms, an event causes multiple properties to change. In this case, I want to modify the properties, specifically whether or not the mouse is over my button. I'm going to drag the splitter between the trigger inspector and the object tree down a little bit so I've got a bit more room to work. When I do this, you will see that a couple property triggers are already defined. If you remember, when I began template editing, I copied the buttons template and its initial properties came through. A button by default, as far as Windows is concerned, has a keyboard focused, an is checked, and an is enabled property. Right now, I want to have a rollover effect, or how the button is going to look when the mouse is over it. Give myself a little bit more room and add a property trigger. Now when I click that button, several things have happened. In my artboard, I now am showing that trigger recording is on. This indicates that any changes that I make won't actually modify the button itself, but will modify the button when the trigger is true. By default, the red dot indicates that I'm editing this property trigger min width equal to zero. Well, min width is not the property I want, so when I go down into the bottom half, I can choose the property I'm interested in. In this case, is mouse over. So now, when is mouse over is equal to true, how do I want the button to appear? I've decided that I want the button to brighten up a little bit when the mouse is over it. So I'm going to choose this rectangle, and the easiest way to brighten up a color is by changing from the RGB color space to the HSB color space. Now I can choose each gradient stop and just increase the brightness by a little bit. Now that I've made these modifications, I'm going to return to my application and press F5. Now when the mouse enters, you'll notice that it brightens up in response. You can create a property trigger for any property and specify that when the property changes to any given value, make these modifications. Now we have an is mouse over effect, but we don't have a click effect yet. So let's go ahead and add that as well. Once again, I'm going to edit the template of my button. And I'm going to add another property trigger. The property that I want this time is the is pressed property. When this property is true, I want the path to change its fill to be a solid white. And I want to change the stroke to more of a yellow color. Now when I press F5 to test the application, now when my mouse enters, it lightens up. And when I click, the triangle turns yellow like I expected. This is how you create basic property triggers to cause interaction between your control and input, say from the mouse. You can change basic properties this way. You can also cause animations to start or stop on the control. 